Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue the viewing history, uh, viewing history through reading. I'm going to continue to read. If the people of the community close their eyes when that man gives one of his children to Molach and they fail, fail to put him to death, I will set my face against that man and his family and will cut off from their people, both him and all who follow him in prostituting themselves to Molech. I will set my face against the person who turns to mediums and spiritists uh, to prostitute himself by following them, and I will cut him off from his people. Consecrate yourself and be holy, because I am the Lord your God. Keep my decrees and follow them. I am the Lord who makes you holy. If anyone curses his father or mother, he must be put to death. He has cursed his father or his mother, and his blood will be on his own head. If a man commits adultery with another man's wife, with the wife of his neighbor, both the murder, adultery, and uh, adulteries must be put to death. It is a man sleeps with if a man sleeps with his father's wife he has dishonored his father both the man and the woman must be put to death their blood will be on their own heads if a man sleeps with his daughter-in-law both of them must be put to death what they have done is a perversion their blood will be on their own heads if a man lies with a man as one lies with a woman both of them have done what is detestable they must be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. If a man marries both a woman and her mother, it is wicked. Both her and uh, both he and they must be burned in the fire, so that no wickedness will be among you. If a man has sexual relations with an animal, he must be put to death. And you must kill the animal. If a woman approaches an animal to have sex relations with him, uh, kill both the woman and the animal. They must be put to death. Their blood will be on their own hands. If a man marry his sister, the daughter of either his father or his mother, and uh, they have sexual relationship, it is a disgrace. They must be cut off before the eyes of their people. He has dishonored his sister and will be held responsible. If a man lies with a woman during her month's period and he has sexual relationship with her, he has exposed the source of her flow, and she has also uncovered it. Both of them must be cut off from their people. Do not have sexual relationship with the sister of either your mother or your father, for that would dishonor a close relative. Both of you would be held responsible. If a man sleeps with his aunt, he has dishonored his uncle. They have be, they will be held responsible. They will be die childless. If a man married his brother's wife, it is an act of impurity. He has dishonored his brother. They will be childless. Keep all my decrees and the laws and follow them, so that the land where I bring you to live may not vomit you out. You must not live according to the customs of the nations I am going to drive out before you, because they did all these things. I abhor them. But I said to you, you will possess their land. I will give it to you as an inheritance, a land flowing in the milk and honey. I am the Lord your God who had set you apart from the nations. You must therefore make a distinction between clean and unclean animals, and between unclean and clean birds. Do not defile yourself by any animals or birds or anything that moves along the ground. Those which I have set apart as unclean from you, you are to be holy to them, because I, the Lord, I am holy, and I have set you apart from the nation to be my own. A man or woman who is a medium or spiritist among you must be put to death. You are to stone them. Their blood will be on their own head. Rules for Priests, Chapter 21 The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the priest, the son of Aaron, and say to them, A priest must not take, make himself ceremonially unclean for any of his people who die.
except for close relatives such as his mother or father, his son or daughter, his brother or an unmarried sister who is dependent on him since she has no husband. For her, he may make himself unclean. He must not make himself unclean for people related to him by marriage and so defile himself. Priests must not shave their heads or shave off the edge of their beards or cut their bodies. They must be holy to their God and must not profane the name of their God because they present offerings made to the Lord by fire. The food of their God they are to be holy. They must not marry women defiled by prostitution or divorced from their husbands, because priests are holy to their God. Regard them as holy because they offer up the food for your God. Consider them holy because I am the Lord holy, I who make you holy. If a priest's daughter defiles herself by becoming prostitute, she disgraces her father, she must be burned in the fire. The high priest, the one among his brothers, who has had the anointing oil poured on his head and who has been ordained to wear the priest's garments, must not let his hair become unkempt or tear his clothes. He must not enter a place where there, where there is a dead body. He must not make himself unclean even for his father or mother, nor leave the sanctuary of his God or de desecrated because he has been dedicated by the anointed oil of his God. I am the Lord. The woman he marries must be virgin. He must no, not marry the widow, a divorced, or a woman defiled by prostitution, but only a virgin from his own people, so he will not defile his offspring among his people. I am the Lord who makes him holy. The Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, for the generations to come, none of your descendants who has a defect may come near to offer the food for his God. No man who, be, who has any defect may come near. No man who is blind or lame, disfigured or deformed, no man with a crippled foot or hand, or who is a hatchbacked or dwarfed, or who has any eye defect, or who has a festering or running sores or damaged testicles. No descendants of Aaron, the priest, who has any defect is to come near to present the offerings made to the Lord by fire. He has a defect. He must not come near to offer the food of his God. He may eat the most holy food of his God as well as the holy food. Yet, because of his defect, he must not go near the curtain or approach the altar, and so desecrate my secondary. I am the Lord who makes them holy. So Moses told, his, told this to Aaron and his sons and to all the Israelites. So I'm going to stop here today and continue next time. Thank you for watching.